Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Bemi. If you're new, welcome. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back and tuning into my channel. So I've got another Get Ready With Me hair and makeup. And today's wig is from Wild African. So I'm going to be working with the 13 by 6 straight lace front wig. 150 density, 22 inches. So the wig comes pre-plucked and it comes pre-bleached as well. So as you guys can see, this is their new hairline. You literally do not have to do anything to this wig aside from install the wig. So it's definitely very big enough, friendly. So if you're looking for a wig that you can install yourself and not have to pay so much to get it done this is definitely the wig for you because i did nothing to this wig aside from install the wig straight out of the box also when it comes to my makeup today i decided to go for like a fall inspired makeup look i don't really know what to call this makeup look but yeah this is my makeup look for today so if you guys want to see how i got this whole look together then make sure you stay tuned and carry on watching and i'll catch you guys in my next one <laughs> Touch. You want mess around, but I 
carefully You need to call it with a fake energy Say you gonna be there for me Well I be the one or two or three My life you go never mess with me Unless you do try and you go see Okay, so I'm done installing the wig. I'm gonna go ahead and start my makeup now. And to prime my face, I'm gonna use the Laura Mercier Hydrating Primer today. I wouldn't normally use a hydrating primer, but why not? So for foundation today, I'm gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way Matte Foundation. And this is in the shade Spiced Rum. So I'm going to use the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer in the shade Deep Chestnut. This is closer to my skin tone, so this is literally just to conceal around my under eye and around my mouth. Then I'm going to go in with my highlight shade. I'm going to use what I've got left on my beauty blender to just reverse contour my cheekbones because I wouldn't want to use the brighter concealer to reverse contour because I don't want that harsh line basically so I'm using what I've got left on my concealer right now to just you know define my cheekbones. <laughs> Okay, so I've just set my concealer in place using my um, Too Faced One This Way translucent powder. So now I'm going to go ahead and set the rest of my face with my Morphe face powder in the shade Filter 13. I feel like I repeat myself in every video because I use the same products in every video. So yeah, but I'm using the Filter 13 powder from Morphe to set my face. So now I'm going to go ahead and warm up my face. I'm going to use the Revolution bronzer in the shade Deep and my Morphe bronzer in the shade Supreme. I really hope you guys are seeing the true colour. What I'm doing, because I'm trying something new today. I don't know if you guys can tell what it is that I'm trying today. I'm not going to mention it, but leave a comment down below if you can tell what's different about my video today. So I just hope you guys can actually see the true colour of what I'm doing. I'm going to go back in with my powder brush and just soften everything up. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some blush. I'm going to use the ABH Blush Trio. I'm going to use this shade from the palette and I'm just going to apply this very softly onto my cheeks. <laughs> And I also like to add some around my forehead just to add a flush of colour back to my face. So to finish off my base, I'm just going to apply some pressed powder right underneath my eyes. This is the L'Oreal True Match um, Super Blendable Powder in the shade Golden Cappuccino. And I'm just going to apply that. I like my under eyes to be very matte. And I do like a bit of coverage under my eyes as well. So... Okay, so now my brows are done, I'm going to go ahead and set them because I feel like they look quite harsh right now, especially this one. And you guys know I like my brows having a soft look. So I'm going to go in with my 
translucent powder and just apply that all over my brows and you can see how that just kind of tones it down right away and this is also going to help with like controlling my oil throughout the day and stuff like that because my brows tend to get quite oily and greasy so yeah this brow is a lot higher than this one but we're not going to pay attention to that otherwise i'm going to be here the whole day so um i'm going to move on to my eyeshadow now and then you know we're nearly done so today i'm going to use my juvia's place palette and this is what it looks like so i'm literally going to be working with three shades that are down here i'm going to use this shade right here and use that as my transition shade the eyeshadows are so pigmented literally now i'm gonna go ahead and use brown shade from the palette which is this one right here and pop that into my crease actually i think i'm gonna pop that brown shade all over my eyelid because i really really like the shade of brown yeah i'm gonna pop that all over my eyelid actually and then i'm gonna apply some of that some of this right on top of that brown shade as well and now i'm gonna go ahead and just do the same thing to the other eye and then i'll be back okay so now i'm just gonna apply these two shades down here on my lower lash line so i'm applying more of the brown shade and then just a bit of the red one and now i'm just gonna dust off any excess powder that i may have on my face and now I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Morphe Setting Mist okay so I've got my lashes on now as you guys can see so now I'm gonna go ahead and apply my um, apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and then we can move on um this is literally one of my favorite mascara hands down because the difference it makes to your lashes is uh, it's not a joke like it literally coats every single lash you have and it just makes them look so long this is the eye with the mascara and this is the eye without and um this is the abh mascara by the way love this so now i'm gonna go ahead and apply some highlighter this is the laura mercier um highlighting powder i don't know it just looks so good on the skin and it just makes your skin look like it's glowing from within rather than oh you've just got some highlighter sitting on your cheeks so i'm just gonna apply a small amount of this <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to use my um, Doll Beauty Lip Liner in the shade Killing It and I'm just going to use this to line my lips. I'm going to use the Maven Beauty Lipstick in the shade Buena. Okay, so this is my makeup done. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my hair and just add some slight curls to it. I'm not really going to do much to it. So I'm just going to add some curls to the tips. So this is the finished look as you guys can see i think i'm just so in love with my eyeshadow right now you know the lashes the highlighter everything the lipstick the eyeshadow everything is just making sense okay and the eye look the eye look is so simple as well like i only use three um three eyeshadows from this palette i use the bottom three 
that's what I used for my eye look today and yeah so you guys let me know what you think of this whole makeup look when it comes to my wig like I said this wig is from Wow African so this is a 13 by 6 straight wig it's 150 density so you guys can see it's not really the fullest density but at the same time it's not the thinnest either so this this can be like an everyday go-to wig I think one thing I'm really impressed about the wig is the hair quality it's a silky hair texture so it's really nice really soft I can literally just run my fingers through the hair and when it comes to the laces all the laces are amazing like guys it's so good like it literally just melts into your skin it just melts into your skin so this is a 13 by 6 straight wig it's 22 inches and it's 150 density so the wig came pre-plucked and it came pre-bleached as well so I didn't have to do anything to this wig aside from install the wig and style the wig to my liking so you guys can see what the hairline looks like yeah so this is their new hairline you guys can see it comes pre-plucked and the plucking is so good because it looks it does look really natural like I didn't have to go in to try and pluck a bit more or anything like that this is literally how it came from the box so yeah i'm gonna make sure to list all the links that you guys need to know down below in the description box and i'll make sure to list all the products that i've used today for my makeup in the description box so if there's anything you would like to know please make sure you check the description box and everything will be there leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this whole look together because right now my face is popping okay and if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button i'm gonna have more content coming out for you guys real soon just stay tuned and bear with me okay because we're getting there we're getting there so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed enjoyed this video and i hope you like this makeup look don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll catch you guys in my next 